What is going on everyone? We're back. This is now week two of the Sea of Thieves challenges. Now what they've done this week, they've done something a little bit different. They haven't actually added anything new into the game, but they've made it so now the Megalodon from the Hungering in the Deep campaign is now available to find anywhere on the map. And the purpose of this video is to tell you exactly how to find it and exactly what to look for and everything you need to know if you want to find the Megalodon. So sit back, relax, and hopefully this video can help. Now if you remember when the Hungering in the Deep campaign was out, you'd always find it in the southeast side of the map, just below Devil's Ridge. Now you can find it absolutely anywhere on the map. There will be two clues to tell where the Megalodon is. The first clue is you'll see a fin just slowly coming in and out of the water. Usually you'll see that far away, but it is possible. I've only seen the Megalodon twice, but it is possible to see it close up. And the second clue, which is most definitely the more obvious, you'll start to hear some sort of music. It's like a musical chime. Now. Keep in mind that this is exactly like the Kraken, so there will never be a set spot where you can find it, and it's always going to change. But unlike the Kraken, the Megalodon does swim around the water, so it changes positions. Now, this is very important to note that you can indeed fight the Megalodon in a sloop by yourself. You do not need a crew anymore, or you don't need at least five people anymore. If you're playing solo, if you're with a crew, if you're on a sloop, if you're on a galleon, there is no conditioning for when the Megalodon will spawn. It'll just spawn at any time, anywhere. Now, just like in the campaign, you will not get anything from killing it. Now, if this is the first time you are taking on the Megalodon and you do complete it, the only thing you will get is a title and a bow spirit customization. Now, to keep this video short, the only hindrance that you will really find with this Megalodon update now is that unlike the Kraken, the Megalodon will follow you wherever you go. The only way to get out of it is by either one, going in shallow water, or two, defeating him. Okay, so this essentially wraps up everything you need to know about the Megalodon. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to know information about all the new Sea of Thieves weekly challenges and updates within the first hour upon release, feel free to subscribe. I'll be doing this with all the challenges, no matter the condition. Now, let me know what you think about the intro. It's just something I put together really quickly because I wanted something a little bit more official than what I usually do, and just sort of like a, a nice way to introduce the video, I guess. Hence the name intro. Now, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe or like the video. It really helps out the channel and everything I stand for. Alright, good luck everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.